like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the Nips the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. I thank Allah for blessing us with a man that we could relate to. One that was raised up from among us to lead us, teach us and guide us out of the darkness of falsehood into the light of truth. That one that I speak of was none other than the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. But if I was to live to be as old as Methuselah, I could never thank Allah enough for blessing me when I was in a state of ignorance, very deep in it, to hear a man that spoke words that inspired me to want to become a better man. A man that for many of us has become a father. A man that for many of us has become our big brother. A man that works tirelessly in the mission of seeking or teaching and putting in the necessary work to raise our people up out of that same grave of ignorance that I was once in. Mm-hmm. One that is a perfect example for you and I. But well, we can read in the Torah, we can read in the Bible, and we can read in the Holy of all of the great words that put in that word during their dispensation and time. But you and I are here today, August 18, 2019, and we are blessed to be here mm-hmm. talk about physically and spiritually and mentally awake to be able to feast our eyes on a man Right. That Allah has chosen yeah. to be a leader at this particular time. That's right. You and I now have an opportunity to write ourselves in hmm. what will be history. That's right. Right, right. Where our children and our grandchildren and our great grandchildren will be able to say, my great-grandfather, my great-great-grandfather, my great-grandmother, my great-great-great-grandmother, stood with that man. That's right. right. We read in the Bible, and for those of us that have a church background, a Christian background, but we went to church and heard of all the great worthies in the Bible, and we read of the people during that time. Well, you and I have an opportunity to be spoken of in that same way. That's right. right. Just think on that. The Unmissable Farrakhan is not just a teacher. Mm-hmm. Right. The Unmissable Farrakhan, if you study his works over the last 60 years yes. plus, yes. you will see that like many of those that we read about in the scriptures, were raised up to do magnificent things, things that you know when you look at what they accomplished, mm-hmm. you know that Allah, God's hand, was over the whole situation. Mm-hmm. So when we look at the Unmissable Farrakhan, without doubt, I mean, just, just removing a couple of the scales off our eyes, we should be able to see that Allah has his hand over him. And so for us, that puts us in a divine protective state where we stand with a man that Allah has his hand over. His hand will also be over us as well. So it's in these great men names that I have mentioned that I greet my family once again the greeting words peace. Vassalamu alaikum. How you feeling? All praise be to Allah. It was some wonderful words that were shared across the roster so far. Actually, the lecture has already been given. 
from what Brother Rashid said in terms of the mission, the true mission of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, that he was given from God himself, is was to what? To resurrect the dead, dumb, deaf, and blind, so-called American Negroes. So regardless to what you and I learn in terms of words and how to put them together so that they can sound very well and nice, the true work is to deliver our people to the Lamb of God. That's right, right. And so whenever we are found with an opportunity to, to impart wisdom into a vessel that all of us as in the nation of Islam have been taught, when you're looking at the black man and the black woman, you're looking at God. That's, That's right. right. We are direct descendants of that one that created the heavens and the earth. That's right. And in this world, we're not taught that. Mm -mm. But when you're taught that in the nation of Islam and the mosque, then it is incumbent upon each and every one of us to share that which we now know. That's right. And we should be able to speak with conviction that which has been delivered to us in terms of the words and the wisdom because your soul feels the words. Mm -hmm. It aligns uh, perfectly with our very essence mm -hmm. because right. our nature is righteous and surrounded by the truth that Allah created each and every one of us and our mothers move with. Now, many things we can get back after giving away in life. But one thing we can't get back is time. That's right. right. So I want to thank each and every one of us for spending the time to come out, to leave wherever we were, to come out to hear something that Allah inspired you, right? Because for those of us that have invited people to come out, we know that it's easy to lead people in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. You and I have family members, friends, and associates that if we told them we were having no, and some of us, but some of us know that they're not going to come because what they enjoy, what they like, they know it won't be found at our get together. Yes. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? But for those in our family, co workers, friends, and associates that still partake upon the vices of this world or enjoy the vices of this world, you know when the invitation is extended to participate in that get together. Right? right? Then we know that their cars are lined up down the street. That's right. Hmm? Sometimes you have to ride around the neighborhood to try to find a parking spot mm -hmm. where there would not be any edifying going on for the most part. That's right. But here in the nation of Islam, Mile 65, where on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, you can bet your bottom dollar even though we don't got it. Mm -hmm. But you can... Rest assured that when you come to the mosque, you're going to learn something. All right. We're going to hear something that is going to take us to a higher level in terms of our thinking. That's right. right. And Allah wants our heart as well as our mind. Because when you look at our people, you know that we're in dire need of proper education. Right. So the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said that the black man and black woman must be what? Thoroughly re-educated. Right, right. Because what we've been given in terms of education has not served us well. So, Allah, I'm not spooked out. And last Sunday, when I mentioned to Sister Deborah that maybe it's about time for us to have a local meeting, and Allah must have put it on my heart because, truth be told, I really, Brother Rashid knows as well as Brother Darrell, when you ask me to come before the people, Allah, Allah's chosen people, I'm not the one that'll raise my hand up high. I really prefer to receive than to give. Yeah. But that is how I see myself and others people. Other people see each other and we see each other different. But right. I'm not the one that would be rushing up to the roster. Right. Right. But for some reason, Allah put it on my heart right. to mention it to Sister Deborah. And what she was saying without even knowing what my very first PowerPoint picture was going to be, she talked about the journey. Right. We didn't go back and forth. I didn't call her this time, even though she was the wonderful sister that helped me with my first PowerPoint presentation. I didn't call her this time and ask her how she felt about this picture, right? right? But when I was listening to her, and when I was putting this together for my family, putting this meal together for us, the, the, the subject is, who are you rolling with? And we're talking about our legs, right? Right. We're talking about the choices, the conscious choices that you and I make when we decide who are we going to stand with. Yes. Are you with me? Yes. yes. 
all of us in here are grown. So when we were children, we were under a dictatorship and our mother, father, grandparents made the decision who we were going to be with. Are you with me? Yes, sir. So whatever they decided, that's what we were on. So when I was looking for a picture and I was thinking, well, I want to be found at all times rolling with the ominous of Louis Farrakhan. Come on. Right. But this picture says something to me about that journey that Sister Deborah was talking about. Yeah. Right, right. And I myself accepted the teachers in 1996, so we're talking about 23 years on the battlefield, which is nothing compared to our exam, right. who has put in six decades. Right. You understand what I'm yes, saying? Sir. But I've had my ups and I've had my downs. Are you, are you, are you with me? Yes, yes sir. sir. And we know that that is a perfect description for life in and of itself. Right. You're going to be enjoying some good times in life. Come on, right? But then there are going to be other times when you're going to be feeling like you're on that down spiral. Right. Where you may lose money, property, loved ones. Right. But the Holy Quran says it like this. After difficulty comes what? Ease. Ease. Yeah. Only, and this is your brother speaking now, to really prepare us for the next difficulty. That's right. So we can't ever get comfortable when we enjoy a state of ease. We have to be found equipping ourselves with the tool to prepare for the next difficulty so that we can get through it. Yes, sir. Because we don't know what the next difficulty may be. Yes, sir. But that's why our time should be spent preparing for that which lies ahead. Right. Sure. Now, we're going to go over a few PowerPoints. We're going to look at a few words. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I pray that Allah at the end will bless all of us to get a better understanding of why we should be found rolling with the one. Mm -hmm. And I say the one because of this. Mm -hmm. When you read, when Allah chose Moses, he gave him a help. Yeah. His brother Aaron. Mm -hmm. Because Moses did not have the confidence. Right? Yeah. right. But Allah chose him. But yet Moses, what, as the scripture says, Moses was a god and Aaron was what? His prophet. That's what the Bible says. But you look at Noah. You look at Ezekiel. You look at everybody all the way through. Through the book of Revelations, you never find where Allah raised one up from amongst the people and put somebody up across town on the same level with him. Hmm. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Right. And that is why Jesus had to rebuke his disciples for they were condemning people that were probably doing greater work than they were. Mm -hmm. And so he had to tell them, I have many, right, that is not of this fold. Right. Mm -hmm. So even though you're looking at each other on a daily basis, there are many that is doing the Father's work that you may not even know of. That's right. So we have to be able to recognize people that is doing the work. And even though they may not be of our fold, we can always learn from the effectiveness mm -hmm. and what could help us do a better job in putting in the work that's necessary. Yeah. Right. When we're talking about work, we're talking about force times distance, right? Right. right. <laughs> yeah. And for some of us that, that got, not, got out of bed this morning, it may have been a little bit more work for others. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. I might feel like Shazam right now because I sh got shot this morning unplugging <coughs> my laptop out of the wall. <laughs> right? And my neck is a little tight, even though I didn't get out of the bed. I mean, I got out of the bed, didn't have a problem this morning. But tomorrow may bring up on a different story. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is true. This morning, I actually unplugged my laptop. And as I was wiggling, I touched the, the chrome prongs. Mm -hmm. Right? While it was still in the socket. Right. And I looked up, and I was doing this. And the next thing you know, your brother probably jumped about six inches off the ground and I screamed, right? <laughs> and my baby girl came running down the hall. And I hear other people saying, are you all right? Because they know the scream of being shocked was a little different for them to hear from me, yeah. right? <laughs> and I'm not going to be standing up here like I'm a major tough guy, right? I can handle some pain, but that, that, that little 120 volt. Those were probably 20 amps that ran through me. That, that wasn't a comfortable feeling. And then the element of surprise, right? right. So, 
So I had to tell them the lesson in that I had to share with my children. I had to tell them what I did. Right. And I know better, but what moving fast, right? Trying to make do this and do that. And you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I told my children, I said, I was unplugging the plug, but I touched the prongs while they were still in the socket. Mm -hmm. I said, make sure y'all don't do that. Mm -hmm. Right? But daddy, all right. It says your heart beat fast. I say I might have some powers like Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna find out later, see if it takes effect. <laughs> but that was a, a nice shock to start the morning off. Oh yeah. But who are you rolling with? Let's look at a few key words here. Rolling, to travel in a vehicle. Vehicle, a means of carrying or transporting something. A medium through which something is expressed, achieved, or displayed. Now, when we look at the word rolling, to travel in a vehicle, I don't want us, for every physical reality, there's a spiritual counterpart. And even though we may think of things just physically, because when we hear words, we automatically think of our cars, right? Cars or trucks, or what have you. But I want each and every one of us to look at ourselves as a vehicle, a conduit, where Allah uses each and every one of us for his purpose. But keep in mind that Satan uses dumb devils as his agents also. That's right. That's right. So we can be a vehicle for a law, or we can be a vehicle for what? Yes. Satan. Or who? Satan. Are you with me? Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. So who are we rolling with? The vehicle is defined as a means of carrying or transporting something. Is it going to be a positive message? Is it going to be good words? Is it going to be kind words? Or is it going to be condemnation? Or is it going to be hate? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because people can say things that can build you up and they can say things that can tear you down. That's right. A medium through which something is expressed, achieved, or displayed. Now, who are you rolling with? With the finance on the side of all. And some of the synonyms for with is because of, due to, owing to, and through. Right. Now I want us to keep in mind that uh, uh, when, when we think about what Sister Deborah was saying in terms of this long journey, mm -hmm. many of us roll with the Unmissal Lewis Farrakhan because of. Right, right, right. We heard some nice words, right? Right. right. And it touched us and it moved us. Mm -hmm. We might be rolling with Unmissal Lewis Farrakhan due to the fact that somebody else is rolling with Unmissal Lewis That's Farrakhan. Right. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then there are some of us that feels like we're rolling with our Mr. Lewis Farrakhan because we, owing to him, we thank Allah for blessing him to say something to inspire and help us to get to where we are today. Right. Huh? Right. Now each and every one of us have to ask ourselves, why are we rolling with our Mr. Lewis Farrakhan? Good question. Or why are we rolling with whoever we may be rolling with? Right. Right. And is it going to be beneficial and helpful for us? To help us to, to get closer to one with Allah, to be in, at one with Allah, or is it going to drive us further away from what Allah intends for each and every one of us? Good question. Who are you rolling with? The weak leadership produced by this world want the masses of the people to join them on an impossible ride on a broken veto. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I did, I searched, I searched wheels, right? And as I was scrolling down, as the only child that my mother had for eight years, I had the high-powered version of this big boy. I had what we call the green machine, right? The green <laughs> machine was the Lexus Cadillac edition, for those of you that know what I'm talking about, right? You, you, you know, you had the big wheel, and you had the green machine. So when I seen this, I can't recall ever having the big wheel, but I got the picture, right? right. Yes. Now, not only... <laughs> it's the big wheel, the basic mode of transportation for someone three or four or two years old. Hmm. But this one has a missing pedal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> so the leadership of this world, right, want the masses of the people. Can you imagine more than one person riding on this broken vehicle? <laughs> 
That is pretty much, this picture pretty much exemplifies the broken leadership that stands before the people, telling the people that the solution is to just vote. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. The solution is just to stay right here and let's work together. Right? Incestuous relationships. Right? Because if they're not a part of this organization, they're no good. That's why you see someone in comparison on Mr. Louis Farrakhan goes throughout the world, including churches throughout the world, delivering the words of Almighty God Allah. That's right. And he makes it clear that even though we say Allah, which is the Arabic word for supreme being, the Almighty, we're still talking about that same force and power. That's right. That's very important for our people to understand. Yes, sir. Because sometimes when we say Quran, they say that's a different Bible. Mm -hmm. We have to explain. When we say Allah, is that a different God? We have to explain. That's right. Right? Because they don't know what we've been blessed to come into contact with. The body of knowledge that Allah has blessed us with, we have to share that. That's right. So in the book of Matthew 15, chapter verse 13 and 14, it reads, But he answered and said, We're talking about Jesus now. Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted. He said, Every plant that his heavenly father had not planted. Shall be booted up. Right. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Now he's talking to his what? Disciples. Let them alone. Don't waste your time on them. That's right. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the what? Yes. Now we've heard this before. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But when you look at the condition of our people, it looks like we're buried in the ditch. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. Right. And so when we look at the school spur the way he moves, the things he says, the things he encourages us to do, it helps us to pull our people out of the ditch. That's right. Which makes us what? The opposite from the what? Blind leading the blind. Yes, sir. And speaking of blind, we know that most of us in here, if not all of us, was blind before we heard the teachings of the most honorable yes. and humble. Yes. Right. There have been many people, and with the, with, with the modern technology today, you could be a closet believer yeah. <laughs> via your telephone, via your laptop. There was a time when somebody had to really ask somebody and say, can I get that VHS? That's right. Can I get that cassette tape? That's true. They had to really open their mouth. They had to find somebody and say, oh, that's for sale? Let me buy it. Yeah. See, but now many of our people in the privacy of their home can pull out their phone and go right to YouTube. And get the mess. Right. Right. Are you with me? Yes, sir. And that's why now you saw, you notice an increase of people just coming to the mosque who haven't met any of us. That's right. They just come into the mosque. That's right. Brother, except for a couple weeks ago, say I've been studying the YouTube video. That's right. That's right. Oh, praise due to Allah. But then also, just as it's a can't do it for good things or good words to be propagated. Mm -hmm. You have nonsense on there as well. Right. Where you have crazy folks saying crazy things and crazy people believing in what they say. That's right. <laughs> you, are you with me? <laughs> yes, sir. So we, we have the blind continually leading the blind. Let's look at the message to the black man. The, honorable, the most honorable lot of the home said, my mission is to give life. Hmm? Hmm. Now, when, when I'm about to come before the people of Allah, and not just when I'm about to come before you, my, my family, my brothers and sisters, but whenever I'm about to do anything and I know I'll be around some people and I can share a few things with those people, I feed off the words of the Lord Mr. Louis Farrakhan right. and the Most Honorable Allah Muhammad. Because I know Allah has deposited within them that which I can draw from right. to help our people. That's right. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Okay. And don't ever take for lightly the power of words. That's right. Don't ever take for lightly the power of words because about a week ago, somebody was vandalizing cars in my neighborhood on my street. Hmm. And my wife left her vehicle unlocked. Hmm. And I'm super paranoid. Because that was a time when I was a part of the nonsense. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right, right. So I could be in the bed, dozing off, and I jump out the bed, grab my slippers, and get my remote, and go, okay, no. And I know I turned it on when I got out of the field. 
But I'm just, I be tripping out like that. But anyway, but that is an easy, what we call a lick. That's right. That's an easy hustle. I think that's more appropriate. That is an easy hustle to leave your doors unlocked. Mm -hmm. So that which is not valuable to the thief is valuable to the person that's being violated. So in the vehicle were her diplomas and certifications she had just organized over the summer. Right. But she left, left, left the sack in there with some clothes and they took the whole sack. Uh -huh. You see, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So we have to be mindful that there are always going to be people into the here, right? right? Into this heaven that our people sing about mm -hmm. is established right here on earth. Right. Right. But there are going to be people that are going to be doers of good, that's and there are right. going to be people that are going to be doers of what? Evil. Right. Right. And even though they may look like us, we know that what's inside of here not quite right. That's right. 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 Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How would you describe your mission? The question is asked to the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. His answer is My mission is to give life to the dead. Mm. What I teach brings them out of death and into life. My mission as the messenger is to bring the truth to the world before the world is destroyed. Yeah. Right. There will be no other messenger. I am the last and after me will come God himself. I do not say I will live so long as that, but when God comes, if it pleases him, I may be with him. Wow. However, if I am not with him, this is the final. This truth I bring will give you the knowledge of yourself and of God. A book that was written, compiled by numerous of, of uh, words that the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad stated, what, in 1965, The Message of the Black Man first was published, right? Right, right? But all of these articles over years were compiled and put in a book for each and every one of us. And the book is just as relevant in 2019. That's right. As it was in 1965. That's right. It especially with our divine reminder and our miss today, I miss who is far from. Mm -hmm. Because their mission is one and the same. Mm -hmm. As the most honorable Abu Muhammad said that his mission was to give life, I miss who is far from. Mission is to what? Mm -hmm. Give life. Because mm -hmm. I know I was dead, dumb, deaf, and blind, That's with right. braids mm -hmm. and plaques when I heard the honorable who is far from, with bad intentions still in my head, right? No, really, no love for self or kind other than immediate family and so called friends. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Right. But hearing that word, right, over and over again, it took my view and perception of my brothers and sisters to a whole nother level. I said, there's no way in the world I can sell drugs again. Right. Can't do it. Right, right. I, I'd rather wash cars or pressure wash a bill. Come on. Anyone happen? Right. There's no way in the world I can call my sister out of her name. Right, right. And for those of us that, that, that come from a crazy background, and they and that 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 may be married, right? Or uh, about to get married, whatever the case may be, you know, there's gonna be friction and confrontation. Am I right? That's right. And for many of us that grew up witnessing sisters being continuously disrespected in, in most cases our own mothers. Right. right. Called out of her name. That's right. Right? The, if the, the thought of, of disrespecting or saying calling her out of her name isn't even a thought that comes up right. when I'm in conflict. Are you with me? Right. right. Yeah. And that is only because Allah blessed me to hear somebody. Right. right. They're right. special. Yes. To erase, I mean literally erase that out of my head. Right. Right. <laughs> that ain't even a thought that comes up. That's right. And when you see sisters in the street naked, now we're natural men, we not broke wrist type fellas, am I right? That's right. You see flesh, you might, you know, say, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Allah is God and has really made a, a, a well-made woman. Right. Am I right? right? But as a savage, you're trying to roll up and get a phone number. Right. right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? That's right. But as a civilized man, you say, man, that's such a show need them teachings. The Lord of him or that going. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. Hmm? That's right. Yeah. I mean, we ain't just staring. <laughs> no. man, you, you go to Walmart, I mean, today in 2019, they're wearing legalized pantyhose. That's right. right. That's what spandex are. Yeah. They're colorful pantyhose. My grandmother won. Mom, you said, put some clothes on. She said, this is my house, right? <laughs> you know? And for those of us that have that, that similar background, right? Sometimes she wouldn't wear a bra. And he right. said, man, you need to put a bra. She said, this is my house. But that was in the 70s and the 80s. In 2019, what they wearing, I don't know if this even called a bra. Because everything out. Yeah. Right. 
And then they, now they took the shirt in into the pantyhose, or the spandex as they call it, <laughs> right? And so we, 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 for us that have children, they're around other children that's not being taught like that's right. we are trying to teach our children. That's right. A little girl had the audacity to tell my daughter the front of her pants looks like she have a penis because the pants isn't digging in. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're not, they're not cutting. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So <laughs> my feedback was to ask her what would she prefer to, to for, for the pants to go directly in mm -hmm. to expose what Allah has given you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So we're talking about peer pressure. So who are you rolling with? Mm -hmm. They experience it as a child. And they, we experience it as adults. Right. But in the book of Malachi, 4th chapter, 5th verse, and 6th verse, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet That's before right. the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. Least I come and smite the earth with a curse. Now I want us to key in on something that I underlined. Do you see what, what, what's going on right here? Mm -hmm. And he, Elijah, and keep in mind that the book of Malachi is the last book before we get into what this New Testament. Right. And it's mentioning who? Elijah. Right, right. Hmm? But you have the singular word heart, but you have the plural fathers. You have the singular word heart, but you have what? The plural children. Right, right. So Elijah, he shall turn the heart. That's why the unity of us is so important, brothers right. and sisters. Mm -hmm. He would turn the heart, one heart That's of right. the fathers to the children, one and heart. the heart of the children to their fathers. Praise be to God. One heart. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. Now you already know for those of us that had some fights, whether we boxed in the ring, outside the ring, we got boxed in the house, or however it went down. We know that a slap might be a little potent and a little steam, right? But when you line these up, Right? And throw with that same force that you threw with that slap. When you line these up, these bones, when they connect, they can shatter something. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Yeah, that, that, that slap gonna leave an imprint in red and it's gonna get the flesh, right? And you'll see a bruise. But when you link up, you put that unity on that hand. <laughs> you know, with the unity, it's more potent than the what? The tiny bone, right? Yeah. And for those of us that have played with children, even a little bitty hand, it can hurt. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, you've been hit before by a little child, especially when you're dead sleepy, <laughs> and they sock you. They won't tell you to get them you know, a, 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 a ice cream sandwich out of the refrigerator. <laughs> huh? Come turn the TV. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the most time we lied to my arm the school is far from. And once again, the message of the black man, page 191. I will accomplish the mission Allah has given to me to raise my people mm. here in America, both spiritually and physically, mm. above the nations of the earth, if it pleases mm. him. Why right. the most of Allah Muhammad says spiritually as well as physically? Now, don't get spooked out and think the message was going to go to a graveyard with Trump. <laughs> Okay? Yeah. But for those of us that are unproductive, physically, mm. they ain't doing a doggone thing for themselves or for those that they are responsible for. They need to be raised physically. Mm. But the first resurrection has to take place on what we can't see, and that's on the inside. Come on. So when we see our brother saying today, which that really, that, that just messes us up with a criminal background. Right before this this fad of, of sagging came into play. Because mm -hmm. if anybody that was doing dirt in the 90s on back, you know your pants had to be on your hip if you're gonna run. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> and some of us were running, some of us just gave up, but you always <laughs> had somebody that's, that's I'm gonna you looking at a runner. <laughs> I'm never one that's just gonna lay it down. <laughs> but I know with this fad, there would have been no way possible I could have gotten away the times that I did with my pants falling off my butt. It don't even make sense. <laughs> hmm? So I need to be raised up first spiritually and mentally so that I can physically appear to be raised. Right. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, my, my plan wasn't to be long. I wanted to say a few things because Brother Rashid has some wonderful words. And when I hear something, 
Sister Deborah said some wonderful words. And when I hear something that touches me, it's a reminder. And I'm just coming before you as a reminder. I'm repeating what thus said the Lord. Sometimes we hear things and we forget about it. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you go to the mosque on Sunday, when you go to the mosque on Monday, when you attend the mosque meetings on Wednesday and Friday and Saturday mornings, you're just being reminded. That's right. In some cases. Mm -hmm. In most cases, you're probably going to be taught some things that you never knew before. Mm -hmm. But pretty much it's about 50-50. Mm -hmm. And at the, 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 the longer you're in the nation, the ratio might change. You might say, well, I heard that before. Hmm. Right? Well, it reminds us a good thing. Thank you, Inculcation means to what? Instill by repeatedly teaching. Right? That's how we memorize our lessons in the nation. Right. You wrote that letter, you were struggling. Huh? That letter was whooping. And, I, and, and really and true, it's probably even more crucial for those now and in the future to write the letter because they're not even being taught how to write in person. That's right. Mm -hmm. You hear what I say? That's right. I have a Two daughters, 14 and 13, only one of them took curse for one year. And you and I know that when we were in elementary school, on right. the top of the wall were the alphabets in curse. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. You and I know that we learned how to write cursive back then, five, six years old. So let's keep in mind that Don Rennes Lewis Farrakhan said, Proper preaching is preaching that is consistent with the time That's right. and the nature. Wow. Of the people. That's right. That's right. Proper preaching. Proper. So that means we know that there's a such thing as proper preaching and there's a such thing as improper preaching. That's right. Yes, sir. We can't be preaching and teaching on things that's not relevant to the people in the time in which they're living. That's right. Right? I can't be standing before you talking about your nature and bending your nature and making you feel okay as for you for just to try to realter your nature. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. There are places that our people can now go where regardless, and I'm talking about places of worship, regardless of what lifestyle slash death style that they are part of the preaching it soothes them to make them comfortable with where they are at That's right. in their grave mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. this is the kind of world we live in That's right. so when we know that we have to be able to share the truth that Allah has blessed us with yeah. to help our people understand what's going on that's right. Hmm? That's right. We see it. Now, I was born and raised right here in Baton Rouge. Now, for about 15 years as a juvenile and adult, I was away. But I know now, from the time I was born in 1973 to 2019, there are far more churches. Right? And this ain't just throwing it any, any shots at our Christian family. But there are far more churches, places of worship in Baton Rouge now than there were when I sung in the choir on North Street at True Life Baptist Church. Right. There are far more churches now in Baton Rouge in 2019 than there were when I sung in the choir at O.A.N. Got a Baptist Church on 4th Street mm -hmm. in Aiden. But the condition of our people has not improved. I'm sorry. Think on that. Right. There are more places for the people to go to That's in right. the hood. Huh? Right. But the activities of the people is not where it should be. But there's more propagating and more singing than ever before. Yeah. What's wrong? Mm. No proper preaching. No proper preaching. It's not consistent with the time. No, sir. It's okay to have a black Jesus. It's wonderful to have an image of a black Jesus to show people their, their potential uh, 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 greatness. Hmm? To show them their identity. But you can't be in what Jesus taught. That's right. If you if you talk about that one that walked, walked 2,000 years ago, you can't bend That's right. to, to suit the people needs. Mm -hmm. And that's why when we look in the mosque, we look left and right, side to side, and you might say, man, we got a lot of empty seats. Hmm. But we can make sure that we get that blood off our hands, right? That's right. Over the next 
seven, six days, yeah. invited people to come here to truth. Right. Right? Yeah. But if they don't come, you can at least say I did my part. You can at least, right. hmm? you can at least say I did extend that invitation. That's right. To get that blood off my hands. That's right. Our people need to hear something that's going to wake them up. That's right. And even if they don't join, see, right. join and puts you in a whole nother ring. <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, Jordan really makes you look at that road. And Sister Deborah say five years, ten years, and I mean, you know, for long, it's like it becomes a way of life. Mm -hmm. But it really makes you step it up. Now, Jordan was intriguing to me because brothers used to talk about the supreme wisdom so much. It was like an esoteric book that I was so excited to get once I read it. <laughs> Right, it was a, it, it was like, man, I want that supreme wisdom. Brother, to start talking about that supreme wisdom. Will you wait on that mystery God to bring you free? Oh, black, you ain't ready for that. That's in the supreme wisdom. <laughs> Everything, brother, let's, let's talk about <laughs> supreme wisdom, right? <laughs> then he get on the rock and start spitting them actual facts. You're like, man, yeah. right? Brother's talking about the English lesson C1. I mean, just go, oh, he get into the lost found lesson one, he committed a few of them bad boys, and then when he dropped them, you saying, wow, I gotta get that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? All right. So, with us, there are certain things that's required of us. Mm -hmm. That was required of the messages and prophets of old, but we don't really even think about it. What is it? What is it in terms of work that you that you are doing when you just go to a place and just, you know, tie, dropping that money in the, in the pocket? You ain't telling nobody about what thus said the Lord has said. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to help them to see the mm -hmm. greatness in themselves because mm -hmm. a lot of times we take ourselves for granted mm -hmm. and we don't really see the greatness in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen brothers go cold turkey on vices. That's right. After hearing the teeth, the most honorable of them. Now, you may go cold turkey and drop it right then and there that day, but you got to keep putting some ammunition right. huh, in the chain. That's, That's right. right. Because when frustration, trial, and tribulation arise a week from now, a month from now, six months from now, you got to be strong enough to say, I'm good. Right? That's right. Allah got me covered. It's going to be all right. Now, the most honored Allah Muhammad, before his departure, made clear to you and I that he, he prayed for a helper and that helper was given to him. That's right. As Moses did. Moses Actually, well, I can't do this with myself, <laughs> right? The most honorable Muhammad talked about comparing the mission to putting the, the pants leg on the elephant. Well, I think a detective or somebody was interviewing him or asking him, you know, how far along in the mission he was. He was like, he got one pants leg on already, right? <laughs> Stiff neck, hard head, rebellious Negro, this challenge. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> But that was from somebody that was the message of Allah that was taught by Allah himself. And when you, when you, it's just like when you accept, right? You accept the teachings, you like, man, this person ain't accept, they crazy. <laughs> they ain't hear that, right? And you look at your family and they laughing at you. You don't want no poor boy, come on, eat the poor child. You don't bait on that bird. You understand? You've been eating that all your life, right? You don't want to sit with that son, but you know we used to kill that hunt. I had to see a you don't want to, I put more coke in it this time. <laughs> it's a little shot. Hmm? Are you with me? Yes, sir. So we look, are looked at in this world as crazy. Mm -hmm. And he, the, the, we're looked at in this world as crazy, and it is from the very people that believe in those that walked the earth 2,000, 4,000 years ago. Right. You think that, that if they were here today, you could pull them off the pages and put them here today, they'll be doing what you're asking me to do? I'm just trying to be a good example. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be high, drunk, to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Right. Right? But in this world, especially in the Western Hemisphere, that's what it's all about. Right? You got to get right. lit. You got to turn up and have right. a good time. <laughs> but the most honorable Muhammad told us in 1972 of one that was given to him. To help them in this mission. And we're talking about what? 47 years later, he's still standing today. Mm -hmm. That's right. Roaring. Mm -hmm. Strong line. Mm -hmm. Helping to produce strong line. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You may come into the 
Ma, uh, making some noise like a little pussycat, but no, 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 no. You just keep attending the class. Are you with me? You keep attending the class, then you're going to notice your roar is going to be loud. That's right. So let's see from the words of the books on the blood of Muhammad what he had to say about our leader teaching Ghana. Don't know this little spark from him. And on this here picture, of course, you know this is old school picture. Here you got the enemy just beats with horns on the top of his head. He said, Psst. He teaches race hate, but I'm your friend. And you know what? That's a good image right here, <laughs> right? Even though we <laughs> we look at it, it's kind of comical, but you know what it is, though, right? Uh, right. Because it's the same thing today. That's right. They receive their guidance from the devil. Look at this <laughs> picture. Black politician, black preacher. Oh, man, come on now. Let's check this out. Now, this is that modern take. Now, this, this is pretty neat right here. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. I want you to remember the day I have one of my greatest uh, teachers here going along with the head. What do you got? My idea is here. Take a little piece of it. Come on up here. Up here where they can see you. <laughs>
if not yesterday from this day forth. Hmm? Yeah. To sharpen something usually means to make it better, more efficient. Huh? Iron sharpen iron. All of us have heard this before, right? Right. Yeah. right. We heard it so much we just thought it was an old saying. <laughs> huh? So a man sharpening the continence of his friend. Hmm. Now look at the word continence. Continence a person's face or facial expression. Now, if we don't study and look at words more closely, we will miss out on the blessings that's in store for us to right, extract right, from right. the revelation. Yes, sir. But continence comes from a French word for behavior, but it has become a fancy term for either the expression of a face or the face itself. It comes from a French word for what? Behavior. Right. So iron sharpened iron, right? Bing, bing, bing. So a man sharpened the continence, right? The behavior of his friend. That's right. Each, th therefore, we say each one what? Teach each one. Want for your brother what you want for what? Yes, Yourself. Sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Very clear. In the Holy Quran, 9th chapter 23rd verse, O you who believe, take not your fathers and your brothers for friends if they love this belief above faith. And whoever of you takes them for friends, such are the wrongdoers. That's a hidden one right there. We have a decision to make. Who are we going to roll with? I'm making, in my humble suggestion, we roll with the God, the messenger, yes, Messiah, the Christ. That's yes. right. So I thank my beloved family once again, and I'm going to close in the greeting words of peace by Salam Are you listening? Damn.